Hello everyone, my name is Zambra. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch with me. Today we are watching more Arcane. I am super stoked to continue watching. So we had a very emotional episode last time. Uh, Jinx is with Silco now and Vi ran off and was kind of half drugged slash kidnapped by that one rogue officer. So there's a lot going on. So I'm interested to see where we start. We lost our two other friendos in our group and Vander is dead as well. So yeah, yeah. But guys, before we continue, please make sure to support the official release of Arcane over on Netflix. It's the best place to watch it. And of course, if you like my reactions and want to see the full uncut reactions without any edits, you can check out my Patreon page, link down in the description below to support the channel over there. But without further ado, uh, do let's get started. A bison pearl. <laughs> it's shaping up to be an amazing progress day. Oh. Stanwick Diddley. Hmm. I don't know much about him. Everything he built either exploded, oh, melted, or tumbled over. And yet, here he stands. Focus. What the fuck were you saying? Got distracted by the cutie. The council has recommended you give the progress day speech this year. But you always give that speech. I, I can never take your place. I agree with them. Your hex gates have done wonders for our city. Oh shit. Brought scholars from distant lands, reignited passions in arts and science. Wow. Perhaps there's something in the lab you might be able to share. People love a grand reveal. Victor and I have just to think. The next chapter of Hex Tech. Come to the lab this afternoon, I'll show you. I look forward to it. Huh. You certainly have something to live up to, my How boy. long has it been? He was 24. Damn. That's a cool shot. Our most famous protege, Jace Talis. Wow. The visionary behind the Hex Gates. A beacon of training. Oh, wow, you're standing with him now. Place. Pretty rude, not gonna lie. You turned your back on him before. I'm so slithery and sneaky because I'm a snag. I will kill you. There's so much crime to thwart outside your family's tent. I can only imagine the strings you pulled to have me posted here. It's oh, your wow. Fault. I'm giving the big address tonight. Mm. I really have to send it to Anarchy. Have fun. <laughs> I like Caitlyn. Happy progress! <laughs> Hell yeah! Drunken progress day! Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah! My man! My man! <laughs> Shipping manifest from your friend downtown. Oh, whoa! She's got like blue scars. That's crazy. Okay, that was a fucking cool shot. Never seen this much shadow before. Dead snake. Place an envelope. Find it all. Oh, oh. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hi. Hi. Okay. Ooh. 
our turn to decide the future of Hedgehog. She's a bit older. <laughs> Professor, I'm so glad you could make it. This is my boy. It all began with this. A Hextech gemstone. Oh. We present to you the next chapter of Hextech. Oh. We can now design portable devices. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, yeah, no. We can be improving lives with Hextech now. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Mm. Honey, why are you in here? <laughs> oh. I didn't do anything. Shit crazy. You're a man. Oh. Why does that not surprise me? Interfering in an investigation again. You're supposed to be guarding your mother's tent. Oh! Oh yeah, I bet things have kind of changed now that Vander's no longer here. She fired on us. There are always mishaps in battle. The firelights were a target, and most are dead. I expected better from you than excuses. It was your oh. job to make sure things went smoothly. You failed. Don't disappoint me again. Damn. What happened? I already told you. I'm asking you. Aww. One of those firelight wackos was a girl. With pink hair. Aww. Your sister's gone. You know that as well as I do. I know. I know. Sisters, right? You can't live with them, can't stop them back in the old baby maker. But... <laughs> You should focus on your dirty <sighs> Take some time. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't need time. Take it anyhow. Wow, this is such a father and daughter relationship. Holy shit. This was fucking me. Like, <laughs> I mean, not to that extent, but me like... I was a daddy's girl, so I, I'm I'm vibing with Jinx a lot. <laughs> like, damn, no. <laughs> like, I'm fine. I can do it. Could I borrow me for a minute? Oh! If it's time to present a new creation, it is now. Great. <laughs> Heimdinger is a great scientist, but he's old. He only ever sees the past. Piltover needs a leader who looks forward. Someone like you. Oh shit. All right. It wasn't her. I don't know. I don't think it was, but I have no <laughs> idea. I would think she would look older by this point, you know? Savika so will cool, clean it up. Savika's so a regular. Johnny on oh, the spot. Oh shit, wow. She really messed you up, huh? I'm not weak. And I'm gonna show him. Oh, I'm gonna show him. Y'all see. Okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? You were asking if I could do the address. You should come up with me. What partners? No, no, I am not in front of all of them. Aww. You had your speech prepared? Mm -hmm. I mean, he did ask Victor to come up with him, but it does feel kind of bad. Like, Victor did help. I get Jace, this was his life work, and he worked on this much longer than Victor, but it does feel kind of bad. They want a bright, shining face to look at. It just sucks. Uh, good evening. I know many of you probably didn't expect to see me here today. And believe me, I'm just as shocked as you are. <laughs> this year, we've created something new for you. Something that's, um... We will share with you when the time is right. Oh, damn. We vow to keep pressing forward, for we are the city of progress, and our future is bright. 
nice fluffy words. Good. A little sad you didn't show it off. I get why, but eh. Thank goodness she was here and paying attention. I set the building on fire by accident. Totally by accident. Oh, honey. Damn. Yeah, you got move. Boy. The gemstone has gone, along with some of our research papers. Oh, shit. I have come before you to recommend that we suspend all hex tech operations until the situation is resolved. Oh, wow. Including our laboratories, the refinery, and the hex gates. Have you lost your mind? The hex gates must remain open. If we shut down the hex gates, the city will suffer. But if we do nothing, we leave ourselves vulnerable to malefactors. More lives may be lost. Perhaps the time has come to explore a more radical solution. I propose that a new chair be brought forth and that House Talus be elevated to this august body. What? You cannot be for real. I believe Councillor Madonna is right. Hex tech security should be administered by a scientist. I second the motion. Wow. Well, shall we vote? Yeah, he got backed in the corner there. He couldn't say no. He said no, it meant that Hammerdinger himself was underqualified. Ah! In your face. Ah! Yeah! I love it. That's me! Do you have any idea what you've done? Uh oh. Actually, I do. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Happy <progress> <laughs> oh my god, honey. Aww. Hey. How you feeling? I've had a break in the case. Shouldn't you be resting? Yeah, there's one thing I've learned about the council. They need more than just theories. Yeah. Since when did you concern yourself with the council's opinion? Since I'm on Since it now. Since I became a counselor. <laughs> Ooh! You're serious? After the attack, your parents spoke to the sheriff. <gasps> Ooh. This is the best I could do. The mentality counselor. He was all my parents. Kate. Get mm. out. Damn. That's a rough way to find that out. I already have a job. You don't, though. Oh, so she's gonna go talk to her. Oh. Interesting. So you've been in jail, so yeah. Who the hell are you? Oh, shit! Happy progress! Um, first I have to say, I love that they incorporated the Jinx song. I thought that was great. That song was huge when it first came out. Uh, it was one of the reasons I even was inter like got like really interested in League was because that song and Jinx's character were just very intriguing to me. I loved her. Her chaotic energy just really vibed with me at that time. So... Always hearing the Jinx song, it just gets me going. It's, it's such a classic. It's so good. So I'm glad that it got incorporated in and somewhat became like canon. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, we are, we're quite a ways in the future now. Like, Jinx is probably, I'm guessing like 18. So I would assume like eight to 10 years has gone by at this point. Cause I would assume she, she could not have been older than 12, right? 
And she seemed younger than that still, too. So I'd say eight to ten years must have gone by. Six, six to ten, maybe? We'll say six to ten. So kind of wild. And I have to, I must stress, I love the relationship that Jinx and Silco have. I think it's very cool, very genuine as well. It really has that father-daughter feel, especially as someone who, you know, has always been a daddy's girl. I can already vibe with what Jinx and Silco got down. Like, it's that, that closeness, that bond, that trust, the um, love that a father and daughter just have this connection that, Silco obviously believes in Jinx. He trusts Jinx. And I would say seems to generally care and love her to the point where, like, you know, he was like, this was your fault. It happened, not Jinx. You were supposed to make sure it went without, a, like, a problem. This is your fault. And I think that's very interesting. Like, yeah, she was up there listening, but... He was so willing to like defend her like this was your fault, not hers. And I love <laughs> I love that she's just tinkering on things. And he's just like, Jinx, 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 like turn down the mirror's arc, like such a fatherly. <laughs> it's hilarious. So I, I love that part. That was very, very, very funny. Did she also take one of those little butterflies, too? I saw that. And then we have Jace, who is now the man of progress. Oh, big shot there. A little bit intimidating because now the um, um, Hex Tech Stone, whatever you want to call it, uh, was stolen by Jinx. And now Silco has it. So that could have some pretty bad repercussions for us. So not sure how that will go. Uh, along with that, though. I am interested to kind of see the uh, the path that Caitlyn takes because she became an enforcer, which is not what her family wanted her to be. She is sneaking off to do her own investigations as if she's some like P.I. getting in trouble because she's not where she's supposed to be and interfering in an investigation, which is really bad, by the way. Like, don't do that. <laughs> And along with all of that, we have her then get injured. At least she saw the fire and they were able to put it out. But, like, Jinx still got in there and stole the stuff. Which, you know, uh, the guards been doing a better job. But it probably wouldn't have happened. But they're lazy because the other side has not been um, messing with them as much, they said. They've kind of just been dealing with their own stuff. But now Caitlyn is going off to try to, like, figure this shit out herself. Even though Jace offered her a job, too. I think that's really interesting. And now Caitlyn has found Vi in jail. So I don't know what will happen with that. That's certainly going to be interesting. I don't know... The significance of that, like, how will Vi get out? Is Caitlyn going to help her break out? Like, is she going to use her parents' pull to, like, get Vi out? Because I don't think her parents would be too happy to find out that she got a criminal out of Stillwater. So, not, not entirely sure how that's going to go. Not sure. Along with that, I don't know. I... I I somewhat understand what Silco's goal is. He wants to basically make everyone into these heart monsters and use them to go basically attack Topside or at least scare them enough that they'll recognize and give Top uh uh Zanu 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 Z A U N Zanu Zanu um. They, they just want what should be theirs. I'm just quoting what they would say. So I'm definitely, um, I'm, I'm curious. I'm really curious 
about how that will be accomplished, if it will be accomplished, how that will go, and the fact that Jinx thinks her sister is dead. But we saw by, actually saw by. So I don't know how that's going to go down. I don't, uh, someone who, I, it seems like she has some form of schizophrenia. Someone with schizophrenia, like, it's hard. It's really, really hard. If they're not being medicated, um, things can kind of go crazy. And we can see she's having a lot of delusions. She's in this very, uh, negative space that is caused from her growing up and it just manifested and got worse. This feelings of, uh, worthlessness and that, um, you're a screw up. You'll always be a screw up. It really got to her. And, uh, you know, <laughs> if you're ever planning to have children or anything, words hurt. I assure you, words hurt. Um, so you need to be careful what you say to your young ones. And, uh, you need to, uh, make sure they're doing okay. And so it's, it's, it's really sad, you know. I, uh, I'm not sure what will, will transpire. So, nevertheless, this is very interesting. And Jace is on the council now, too. I am curious to see how that will affect things as well. Because now he's basically the one in charge of Hextech things and all that encompass it. So that's a lot of pressure. And Victor's just kind of letting him go about this. I don't know if Victor will speak up. Like Jace kind of was like, you should come up there with me. But it's still... Jace giving the speech and Victor just being there. So I don't know how Victor's going to feel about all this. I don't know if Victor cares for like the recognition or if he just truly enjoys the uh, science of it all. Very interesting. I have a lot of questions. I'm really loving the show. Every aspect of it is beautiful. Every moment is thrilling and enticing and breathtaking as well they do such a good job with every character's facial features um you can see every little emotion upon their face you can see them thinking through things and they did a great job with that with um jinx coming out with her kind of uh well we'll say delusions of sorts um her bit of schizophrenia you kind of see the like concern trying to power through. And then the second she like thought she saw her sister that like, oh, it was so good. So I am excited to see what more the show has to offer. We still have a, a good chunk of episodes left. So I'm interested to see where it's going to go, where it will end. I do know it's already been confirmed they'll have a season two, but I don't know if they'll like keep with this story. Or choose another aspect of lore to dive into in League of Legends. I'm assuming this story wraps itself in pretty nicely. So I would guess it'll choose another story from League of Legends. That's just my, my thought. So definitely excited to kind of see more of this as well. Um, of course, thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me. Um, I'm loving this. It's been great. So please remember if you like this video to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I missed anything. All that jazz. And I'll see you all later.